Hey, we need everyone on board for the AFC East title game on Sunday Night Football. And if you want to help the Dolphins win that game, you'll like this video. Come on, you don't want to be the reason that we jinx it. Like the video. And we've got a lot to get to on this edition of Dolphins Today. So buckle up. We do it next on Dolphins Today. And as we inch closer and closer to that Sunday night showdown for the AFC East Divisional title, we've got a lot to discuss, the latest injury update, and some interesting news around Dolphins offensive coordinator Frank Smith. Welcome into Dolphins Today. I'm your host, Jake Reitma, and let's start with the Frank Smith news because the NFLPA put out the list of top coordinators, both offensive and defensive coordinator, and you might recognize the name at the top of the list for the highest rated offensive coordinators according to players. Now, this is from a player survey across the NFL, and right there at the top is Frank Smith, the Dolphins' offensive coordinator. And it makes sense, the Dolphins with the number one scoring offense, but again, this was a survey of players, and it also doubles down with the fact that Frank Smith and his guys love playing for him. He's a player's coach. You also recognize Kellen Moore on that list, despite the problems that the Chargers had all season. Brian Schottenheimer for the Dallas Cowboys. Thomas Brown from the Panthers at number two. It's kind of ironic. because The Panthers have had uh, arguably the worst offense in the NFL. And Brian Callahan, the fourth there for the Cincinnati Bengals. But it makes sense to have Frank Smith at the top of that list because this isn't the first time we've heard rumblings or rumors of him being a potential head coaching candidate once the season comes to an end and all of those new head coaching vacancies need to be filled. Frank Smith, obviously a guy whose resume certainly speaks to the point of being a potential head coach in the National Football League. He's been the offensive coordinator for the Dolphins the past two seasons. Before that, he was a run game coordinator and offensive line coach for the Chargers in 2021. Coached some tight ends for the Raiders from 18 to 20. And overall, he's been in the NFL since 2010, so a wealth of experience any way you slice it. And that seems to be the direction of the National Football League as far as head coaching hires go, is find that offensive coordinator that has a brilliant offensive mind that can put points up on the board and let him take over your franchise. Obviously, we saw that with Mike McDaniel, and it's been working out pretty well. Kyle Shanahan, another offensive-minded head coach that's had a ton of success, and I won't bore you with the list. It goes on and on. So in my humble opinion, yes, we love Frank Smith as the offensive coordinator for the Dolphins, but it seems to be trending towards the direction of him getting the opportunity to be a head coach in the National Football League. And this is interesting from Mike McDaniel. It's taken from an article in The Athletic earlier this season and some quotes that are really telling. And again, this is from earlier this season. Mike McDaniel on the record talking about Frank Smith, saying he has a thorough understanding of the game and is a great teacher, which is really what coaching is all about. He also has a unique ability to anticipate problems before they arise, be that on the field or in administrative type things related to schedules, questions that will come up with players or coaches, etc. He went on to say he operates on a daily basis with a passion, positivity, and humility that is rare and sets him apart. It's hard for me to summarize the positive impact Frank has had on our team, our coaching staff, and especially in supporting me as a head coach. So boy, are those high praises from Mike McDaniel and a big reason why he is one of the candidates for that vacant head coaching job for the Carolina Panthers. And as we've said time and time again, when you think of the National Football League and who are kind of that bright spot in the trending types of hires that teams are making, a lot of teams leaning into an offensive-minded coach. That's why I think the top three Panthers head coaching candidates, yes, Frank Smith leading the Miami Dolphins offense to the top-ranked scoring offense in the NFL, is one. Bobby Slowick of the Texans, another one to keep your eye on, and obviously everything he's accomplished with the Texans offense and C.J. Stroud has been impressive, and you can't forget Ben Johnson. He's on the top of the list of a lot of teams that will have 
head coaching vacancies with what he's been able to do in Detroit with the Lions. They are in the midst of really their most storied seasons in a long time. First division championship in 30 years. And Ben Johnson and the offense, a big reason why. So that's who I have my eye on for the Panthers head coach as far as their next candidates are concerned. Certainly Frank Smith being named the top offensive coordinator by the NFLPA in the survey of players bodes well for him. So I ask you, and you got to let me know in the comments what you think. What do you think Frank Smith's future will be? If you think he'll stay as the offensive coordinator with the Dolphins, go ahead and type OC for offensive coordinator. If you think he's on the move and he's earned the right to be a head coach in the National Football League, go ahead and type HC in the comments for head coach. Now, coming up, we've got another update on the Dolphins injury report ahead of Sunday's game against the Buffalo Bills. But first, I want to tell you about Game Time because they are a proud presenting sponsor of Dolphins Today and helping make today's show possible. If this is your first time watching Dolphins Today, then listen up and listen good. If you've heard about Game Time before, still dial it in because I'm telling you, it's the only ticketing app you need for all your live events. And yes, it's the best way to get to Hard Rock Stadium. Maybe you haven't gone to get your tickets for Sunday Night Football yet. No problem because Game Time, in fact, specializes in last-minute ticket deals, in fact, they guarantee the lowest price possible even for last-minute ticket deals, which is awesome. And when you download the Game Time app and create an account using code FINSCHAT in the bottom right of your screen there, P-H-I-N-S-C-H-A-T, FINSCHAT, you'll get $20 off your first purchase. And again, this is not just for football games or NBA games. Now that we're in the NBA season, use Game Time app for any live event, including concerts, and it takes the stress completely out of buying tickets. It makes the ticket buying process and experience completely seamless, and that's what I love about it. And also a super easy to use app as well. You get a nice high res photo of where your seats are going to be a couple clicks later, and voila, lowest price. At the last minute guarantee. So don't wait. Download the Game Time app today. Use that promo code FINSCHAT, P H I N S C H A T, for $20 off. Terms do apply, but you're going to love it. And because we love you, we'll put that link right in the comments in the description of today's video. One more time, you download the Game Time app. Use that promo code FINSCHAT for $20 off and get started today. Take the stress out of buying tickets using Game Time. Now, we have some Dolphins injury news to get into, and as we get closer and closer to Sunday night football, it feels like a lot of these are repetitive as far as current statuses of players that are in question. But here we go. We start with this from Finn's Extra, and some optimism and positive news at a position group that could certainly use it. Robert Hunt, who we know has missed the last four games, is confident he will be returning from his hamstring injury Sunday versus the Buffalo Bills. That was first reported by Omar Kelly, and we're repeating it from Finn's Extra, but you get the idea. Robert Hunt, very optimistic and confident that he will play. So what does that look like as far as the Dolphins' offensive line goes? We know it's been a rotation of musical chairs, a number of different starting lineups all throughout the season simply based on availability. And a lot of guys gone for the year. Connor Williams, Isaiah Wynn among them. Austin Jackson playing through some injuries. Robert Hunt would be great to see him at that right guard position and look for Lester Cotton there to play. Left guard, Liam Eichenberg, the center. Jonathan Harrison even took a snap at center against the Bills, so don't rule him out as well. But given the status of the offensive line, as we asked, Pretty much every single week because it's different every single week. I need you to weigh in on your confidence level with the Dolphins, of, Dolphins offensive line if they have Rob Hunt playing on the offensive line. It would be a huge boost and something I really hope Miami will have as far as a full level of availability for that offensive line. So let me know your confidence level on Rob Hunt with, the, uh, with Rob Hunt in the lineup. Scale it for me 1 through 10. Now, this one's a pretty comprehensive report from Cameron Wolf, so hang with me through all of this. But Dolphins running back Raheem Mostert, Jalen Waddell, and Xavier Howard 
did not practice yesterday for the second straight day as part of a long injury report. And we know Tyreek Hill's been absent this week for the personal reasons. We touched on the house fire a couple days ago, but uh, unfortunate news there. But you get the idea. Added running back Devon Achan is good to go, and Robert Hunt said he's hopeful to play. So we've used confident, hopeful. It's all semantics, but the point being, Robert Hunt feeling good that he'll be able to play. But as Cameron Wolf alludes to, it's a pretty lengthy injury report. So let's start with Raheem Mostert. Missed that game against the, the Baltimore Ravens, and considering he leads the NFL in total touchdowns and has already set the Dolphins franchise a record, you know that's a huge weapon that Miami is hoping to have. So we'll keep you updated on his availability and status, but right now I think you could classify it as day-to-day. -day. As for Jalen Waddell, anytime you hear high ankle sprain, you usually expect at minimum two weeks, and he suffered that high ankle sprain against the Cowboys. And if he's able to play on Sunday night football, that would mark just a two-week turnaround. But maybe there's a little bit more optimism there after being a limited participant and working with trainers this week. So we'll go ahead and classify that as questionable as well. And last but certainly not least, Xavier Howard is probably the one you're the least optimistic about after he left that game against Baltimore with the foot injury. Pretty much doubtful that he'll be able to play Week 18 against the Buffalo Bills. That means it'll be up to Eli Apple to step up in the secondary. Still no Cam Smith, which we touched on a little bit earlier this week. And Mike McDaniel talked about the fact that you don't want to add scar tissue to a rookie, which to me is a nice way of saying he ain't ready to play and even though it's week 18, it's a little bit disappointing. But that said, Eli Apple's a veteran in the league, so if Xavier Howard can't go, he'll look for Eli Apple. And then Cater Kohu, of course, playing that inside nickel corner position. And really, I'd love to see Jalen Ramsey completely lock down the passing threat of Stephon Diggs, like he did against Garrett Wilson a couple weeks ago against the Jets. And I know Josh Allen's a little bit different of a quarterback throwing the ball to Stephon Diggs than Zach Wilson was to Garrett Wilson and Trevor Simeon, for that matter. But you get the idea. Jalen Ramsey is the best corner and arguably the best corner in the NFL. And it would be nice to see him really put the clamps down and earn his worth against a very, very talented Stephon Diggs in a huge, huge spot. But that being said, we wish Xavier Howard the best, and hopefully he'll be available for the playoffs if he can't go on Sunday night football. So, as you might expect, with all of the injury news, we're asking, can the Dolphins overcome that injury bug and be successful on Sunday? There's so many major players that are out for an extended time, out for the season, and a torn ACL, blown Achilles from Jalen Phillips. Bradley Chubb goes down with the torn ACL. Connor Williams on Monday Night Football. The list goes on and on, but we saw it on Hard Knocks. The Dolphins somewhat trying to use that as a rallying cry. So let me know what you think. Type Y for yes or N for no if you don't think they can overcome the injury bug. Want to thank everybody for tuning into this edition of Dolphins Today. Always a pleasure to be on the air with you. And a huge shout out and thanks to producer Tex on the ones and twos, keeping us up to date on everything. Couldn't do it without him. My sincerest appreciation to him. Now, huge game on Sunday, and we'll be live for it. Sunday night football, so come early, come loud. We'll be live on the air an hour before kickoff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. Daily Dolphins content, the aqua and orange covered from every single angle. It's always a pleasure to be on the air with you, and we'll see you next time on Dolphins Today.